Today in this lecture we are going to discuss how the nervous system basically increase the arterial pressure during muscle exercise. We are basically discussing a series of lectures about the nervous regulation of the circulation or the involvement of the nervous system in the regulation of circulation. In the last lecture we discussed how the nervous system basically increase the arterial pressure how nervous system basically increase arterial pressure rapidly and now we are discussing how the nervous system increase the arterial pressure during exercise so both lectures are uh, almost the same because the way the nervous system increase the arterial pressure is just the same how the nervous system is increasing the arterial pressure in exercise previously we were just uh, discussing just uh, a stress or any common uh, fight flight or fright uh, phenomenon now specifically we are targeting the muscle exercise so the methods or the ways with which the nervous regulation of arterial pressure during muscle exercise occur are just the same so initially during the muscle exercise or when a person starts exercising initially vasodilation occurs initially vasodilation occurs locally so local vasodilation occurs because when you someone is exercising more there is more metabolism and due to increased metabolism local changes occur and the blood vessel the blood vessel dilates it increases in size this this is known as vasodilation and this vasodilation basically occurs due to local changes due to increase in metabolism and these local changes could be increase in carbon dioxide or decrease in oxygen or adenosine formation or whatever we have discussed these things in detail in local and humoral control of blood flow now initially during exercise local changes occur blood vessels get dilated vasodilations vasodilation occur then when the nervous system gets involved due to in heavy exercise the sympathetic stimulation occur Sympath sympathetic stimulation of overall circulation occurs and this leads to elevation of the arterial pressure we have discussed that when sympathetic stimulation occurs with the help of vasomotor center in the brain it leads to arteriolar constriction constriction of the arterioles which leads to increase pressure in the arteries arterioles because peripheral resistance develops due to constriction of the arterioles and it also squeezes the veins it also squeezes the vein which push the blood towards the heart and increase blood flow towards the heart then heart gets stretched and when heart gets stretched due to more blood it pumps more and it causes increase in the arterial pressure due to arteriolar constriction due to constriction of the veins and due to activation of the heart and stretching of the heart so initially local vasodilation occurs then sympathetic stimulation occurs which leads to increase in the arterial pressure but how the arterial pressure basically occur how the sympathetic stimulation basically occurs so when a person starts exercising initially the motor area get activated the motor area gets activated in the brain then there is activation of a reticular activating system of the brain motor area and reticular activating system of the brain's brain gets activated and this leads to increased stimulation of the vasoconstrictor and cardio accelerator cardio acceleratory areas of the vasomotor center in the brain we have discussed there is a vasomotor center and inside the vasomotor center we have like vasoconstrictive areas and vasodilatory areas so when the motor center for example here we have the motor center of the brain it gets activated and at the same times the reticular system over here gets activated these two activation of these two areas lead to stimulation of the vasoconstrictor vezo constrictor area and vaso cardio acceleratory areas in the vasomotor center both activation of both these areas lead to activation of both these areas of the brain lead to vasoconstriction 
वेजो कंस्ट्रिक्शन अकर ड्यू टू विच आर्टीरियोलर कंस्ट्रिक्शन अकर एंड कंस्ट्रिक्शन ऑफ द वेन्स अकर एंड एट द सेम टाइम स्टिमुलेशन ऑफ द हार्ट अकर दैट इज नोन एज कार्डियो एक्सिलरेटी एरिया सो वेन द स्टिमुलेशन ऑफ द कार्डियो एक्सिलरेटी एरिया अकर द हार्ट रेट इंक्रीज एज वेल सो ऑल दीज चेंज इज बेसिकली लीड टू इंक्रीज इन द आर्टीरियल प्रेशर सो द इंक्रीज इन आर्टीरियल प्रेशर ड्यूरिंग मसल एक्सरसाइज अकर ड्यू टू लोकल चेंजेस लोकल चेंजेस कुड बी वेजो डायलेशन वेजो डायलेशन कैन अकर ड्यू टू इंक्रीज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड डिक्रीज ऑक्सीजन इंक्रीज एडिनोसिन देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ लोकल फैक्टर्स विच कैन इंक्रीज द ब्लड फ्लो देन इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ द नर्वस सिस्टम अकर वेन द इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम अकर सिंपथेटिक स्टिमुलेशन ऑफ द ओवरऑल सर्कुलेशन अकर्स सिंपथेटिक्स सिंपथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम गेट्स एक्टिवेटेड but how the sympathetics of the overall circulation gets activated it gets activated because the motor area in the brain gets activated and reticular activating system of the brain gets activated due to exercise when these two areas get get activated they cause stimulation of vasoconstrictor area in the vasomotor center vasoconstrictor area of vasomotor center get activated and cardio accelerating areas of the Vaso motor center get activated and it leads to stimulation of the sympathetic nerves. It causes sympathetic stimulation. When sympathetics get stimulated, it causes constriction of the arterioles, constriction of the veins, and stimulation of the heart. And all these changes, the local vaso dilation, the sympathetic stimulation with the help of stimulation of the motor area, reticular activating system, stimulation of the vaso constrictor, and cardio accelerating area all these changes lead to increase arterial pressure and that's how the nervous system is basically uh, playing its role in increasing the arterial pressure during exercise so that's all about the increase in arterial pressure during exercise thanks a lot for watching the video